If you've been watching these episodes in order, you know that I've been a little bit down on the last couple of episodes. That said, I did enjoy them, probably more than I let on, but this episode is a different story. Let's get to it, shall we? The Outer Limits. We open on a Big Brother style machine called OBIT, or OBIT, that is capable of showing what anyone is doing at any given time. However, as it is operated by Byron Lomax, a man wearing glasses with frames so thick they could be considered PPE and whose backhand needs a serious trim, we catch a glimpse of something distinctly inhuman. Later, this bizarre creature murders another operator, which brings things to the ever-vigilant attention of the United States Senate. Enter Senator Orville, who comes to a vaguely described military facility for scientific research following the mysterious death. The senator has received worrying reports from this facility, called Cypress Hills, that morale is at an all-time low. Apparently, people aren't even attending company barbecues, and the senator is convinced that this is somehow connected to the apparent murder. He finds plenty of intrigue from the missing lead scientist and his definitely not an alien in disguise wife, to the bizarre stonewalling of Byron Lomax and the fumbling lack of cooperation from the military liaison Colonel Grover. But what follows is half an hour of courtroom drama disguised as a senatorial investigative committee, which is even less exciting than it sounds. Eventually, Senator Orville does get some answers about what the obit is and how it works, and he tracks down the missing Dr. Scott. Janet! Dr. Scott! Janet! Ah, Rooker! who has been hidden away in a rest home for admitting to seeing weird stuff on the obit screen. Then, the senator gets the colonel on the stand to describe social media. It's the most hideous creation ever conceived. No one can laugh or joke. It saps the very spirit. Before asking Dr. Scott to explain what's going on. Dr. Scott uses the obit to dramatically reveal the alien in their midst, Byron Lomax, who promptly delivers a nonsensical villain monologue about how Obit was created to break the morality of mankind so they'd be easy to conquer before he flashes away to another dimension or whatever. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I don't like this episode, like, at all. It's painfully boring, and probably wouldn't be much better in a half-hour format. The idea of making the story a mystery is a good one, but turning that mystery into a poorly conceived courtroom drama being run by the only U.S. senator in history to actually care about exposing corruption is a fatal mistake from which the episode can never recover. If you force me to find anything good to say about it, I will admit that the cinematography and noir-style lighting are notable, and the acting isn't the worst I've seen from the show so far. Other than that, though, I say skip this one next time you decide to watch the series. It's just not worth an hour of your time. And that's all I have on OBIT. Now, as always, do all those youtube -y things and check out my Patreon and all that other good youtube -y stuff. But um, until next time, this is the Unapologetic Geek telling you to never be ashamed of what you love, as long as you're not hurting anybody. It's like a drug, a horrible drug. You can't resist it. It's an addiction.